I felt good. I mean, um, it's a long time off and uh, you're just kind of chomping at the bit and uh, really frustrating um, to be out that long and just watching and feeling like you're not any help to the team. But uh, yeah, it's something that I've been looking forward to for a long time and felt good to get back out there and uh, hopefully we can get some wins. What was the hardest part when you play your first game? Is it the mental aspect, knowing that you're healthy and can play, or the physical aspect of, of competing for three periods? I think physically, like I had tested it enough uh, in practices that uh, you, I had confidence in it, but you don't really know until you have to do those things. And I mean, the game's on the line, right? So in practice, like without, uh, you know, it's in the back of your mind that like, oh, you can kind of slough it off. And, and if a goal goes in and practice, it doesn't matter in the game, it kind of matters. So um, just getting back to, yeah, like that it's not on your mind at all. So I guess it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. um, like I know my leg can do it. It's just forcing your mind to, to fight through, okay, what, what used to hurt, it's not gonna hurt anymore and, and just go play. I always like to ask goalies, I think we talked in the preseason about this, uh, you don't, you're not a guy that gets pumped up with music, right, to get yourself in the game. Well, what's kind of your pre-game ritual to get yourself mentally ready? Yeah, I'm not a huge into the music thing. Um, I just kind of like, my routine's kind of set. I, I do my stretches and, and do some juggling and then uh, I actually, I listen to a poem uh, before I go on the ice, the man who, who can. Um, and just kind of, I like to be in more of like a, I don't want to call it Zen, but more just like a neutral mindset. And, um, you know, we, we, as a goalie, you're not, uh, you don't really create the play, right? You're like, you have a more reactive job. So um, I don't think getting really amped up or anything like that helps me. Um, so I like to kind of just be calm and cool, collected, and react to what happens in front of me. I know you've watched more than you would have liked throughout the season, but you've also been able to get out into the community. How nice has that been for you to be able to make those connections with the fans? And, and I know you're at the hospital and doing those sorts of things. Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, that's kind of one of the things, once I realized the injury was gonna take a little bit longer, um, just trying to find silver linings, right? And being able to get out in the community or spend time, more time with my family. Um, you know, it's just those little things that can kind of, uh, not only are you making a difference to somebody else, but it, it's keeping you busy and, and um, you know, making, making you feel like you're contributing at least something uh, for the organization. So it was really nice uh, to be able to do those things. Speaking of your family, you've had a pretty big month playing your first game in a while and also welcomed a new baby. Who's the new addition? Yeah, Molly came um, just shortly before that uh, game against Bridgeport. And uh, yeah, she's uh, yeah, less than a week old. and. Um, She's been, she's been great and the two ones at home uh, have, have loved on her and uh, everything's going smooth, mom and baby and the other two kids are all happy, healthy and uh, we're all having fun. Big brother Beckett, big sister Claire, pretty pumped to, to have a new baby in the house? Yeah, for sure. It's funny, uh, like I think Claire can get a little jealous at, at times but Beckett's for sure the big brother, like always wanting to make sure both his sisters are are uh, being taken care of and uh, it's it's been you know I'm proud of the two older kids the way that they've handled the new edition and you've handled it with a lot of coffee right lots of coffee <laughs> uh, sleeping sleeping when you can uh, the road trip was definitely uh, an advantage for me to get as much sleep <laughs> as possible and uh, um, you know my wife she's a trooper and uh, we have some help with her mom coming in too so um, yeah it's all been really good and, and you know not that having a kid is ever easy, a newborn or anything, but it's uh, seemed like a pretty seamless transition so far.